Before beginning this video, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters and other donators who have helped me financially and now I was able to buy a new microphone and a new laboratory burner and some chemicals so that I can continue doing my work better. Thank you all. So friends, today we will be extracting silver metal from a silver jewelry and I will then make silver nitrate from it. For this experiment, I need silver ornament that is as a source of silver, nitric acid 68% and some copper metal. I have this silver chain as my source of silver metal which I found while cleaning an old wardrobe here. Silver ornaments is actually made of sterling silver which is an alloy of silver containing approximately 92.5% weight of silver and 7.5% of weight of other metals, usually copper. So the first step in extraction of silver metal is to dip this in a concentrated nitric acid. I have 10.8 grams of silver ornament by weight and I have taken about 40 ml of concentrated nitric acid. Observe how vigorous the reaction is taking place. This is very similar to how a piece of copper metal would have reacted with the nitric acid. There is dense brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide and the solution has turned bluish green in color. Nitrogen dioxide is poisonous, so do this outside in a well ventilated area or in a fume hood. This is so similar to how copper would react. This shows exactly how contaminated the silver chain is with the copper metal. The reaction has almost come to an end. The silver chain has completely dissolved in the acid. This solution has both copper and silver nitrate in it. The next step is to remove any unreacted debris from this solution. I will just decan the supernatant clear solution and then filter the rest of the solution. Now to start the extraction of silver metal. I am going to use the principle of single displacement reaction here. I am adding pieces of copper metal into this crude solution of copper and silver nitrate. Since copper being above the silver in reactivity series of metals, it can displace the metal below it from its salt solution. So silver gets precipitated out. After about 3 minutes later when I look, I see that the silver precipitate has started to form. You can see the grey white color of silver metal. I kept the solution for about one hour and when I checked, I found that most of the silver metal has precipitated out. Now, I will decan the supernatant solution containing mostly copper nitrate and then wash my silver precipitate a couple of number of times with deionized water. You can see how green that solution is. This ornament was highly contaminated with copper metal. And now, you can see the silver precipitated silver metal. And this is the color that is a grayish white color of silver metal. I just realized that I had not put on the lights until now. Sorry about that. I will take care next time. Here I have just washed one time with water. The greenish blue solution to my left might be containing some amount of silver salt. So to bring that out, I will add some copper metal into it. I repeated the washing steps about 8 to 10 times and I have tried to remove most of the copper contamination from it. Now
Now I will be adding some pieces of copper metal into that superneatant solution so that I can bring out the unreacted silver nitrate if anything is present in that it will be also getting precipitated out. Now this is actually a random clip from my washing step. You can see that the green color has come down. Now I will remove all the unreacted copper metal. I should take care to wash off the silver precipitate which is stuck on to this copper metal before removing them. Okay, now after removing all the pieces of copper, I washed the silver precipitate 3 to 4 times again with deionized water and now you can see the metal is almost pure now. Into that, I am adding about 40 ml of 68% nitric acid. Soon after adding the nitric acid, you see the reaction has started and brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide is formed. The reaction will be much faster because the metal is in its powdered form and the surface area is small. Okay. After all the metal has reacted, I will now boil off the excess water and then try to recrystallize the salt from its solution. Here I have about 100 ml of solution which after 30 minutes has reduced and the solution has turned clear. You can see some green color to the solution which means even after all that thorough washing, I still have contamination of copper. After about 45 minutes, the solution has come down to 50 ml. I will still continue boiling the solution until it becomes 25 ml. After boiling it down to 25 ml, I cooled the solution and you can see the crystals of silver nitrate formed. Now the real task is to remove the green solution and isolate the white crystals. You can see the white crystals of silver nitrate and the in between you can see the green to green to blue color of the contamination. Now I will have to dry this salt fast with some tissue paper and then I will be storing it. Don't try to dry it under the sun or under light. It will get oxidized by the UV light. Even drying under electrical lights are not recommended. And one thing to be noted that is this is not a pure form of silver nitrate and you cannot get a good silver mirror with uh, the tolerance test. So for that you will have to do the recrystallization procedure multiple number of times again. For me right now this is enough. I am not planning to recrystallize more. when. I plan to do the tolerance test then during that time I may recrystallize and this is the final yield of silver nitrate formed. You can see the beautiful white color. Now I am storing it in dark colored bottle to prevent the photo oxidation. I got about 12.55 grams of silver nitrate which is pretty low considering the fact that I don't know the exact amount of silver in the ornament which I used because that ornament was pretty old. Also I have taken around 3 to 4 grams of silver metal for storage. I have also taken 2 to 3 grams of silver nitrate for making a dilute solution of it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the content of this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button so that you will not miss my new videos. Thank you.